Relationship currency is one of the best things that you can do for yourself. And I'm not talking about a romantic relationship or your family and friends. I'm talking about getting outside of your comfort zone and meeting new people. So let's talk about networking today. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Oh, look, I know what I said the word networking. Y'all were like, oh, this ain't for me. But guess what, baby? It is for you. So we use the word networking a lot. And oftentimes we use it in the entrepreneur space or even when you have a regular nine to five and you go into corporate events and you meet new people in or outside of your industry, you have to get outside of yourself and know how to work the room. So we're going to talk about some tips some tricks, some things that you can do to make sure you're staying connected with other people so you can go to the next level. Whether you are an entrepreneur or you work a regular nine to five, you're going to find some benefit in this video. Before we move forward, tell me a little bit in the comment section, how comfortable do you feel with networking? Like meeting brand new people that you never met before, that you didn't know, and then trying to build that authentic relationship and that relationship currency. How do you feel about that? So the first key is building genuine connections with other people when you are networking. Too many times when you're out meeting new people and networking, you feel like it's just more transactional. You feel like you got to meet somebody and you got to hand them your business card. And hopefully you got a virtual business card these days because the physical ones are a little obsolete. I'm just saying. But sometimes we feel like those interactions are transactional, right? It's just like, you get to know me, I get to know you. You give me a business card, I give you a business card. Okay, well, what do you do? Where do you work? Da, da, da. Okay, great. We should connect and collaborate. And it feels like a just a transaction, right? It's like you give me something and I give you, but I'm really big on building genuine connections and truly getting to know somebody for who they are, not necessarily for what they can do about you. So here's a quick little story. I was actually a keynote speaker a few weeks ago at an event here in Los Angeles called EmpowerCon. And after I got off the stage, I had a vendor table where I was selling all of my books and products and services. And of course, people always come up to me. They talk to me. They take pictures with me. They say how great great I was as far as my keynote goes and my topic. And so I met a really high power executive producer that is in the TV and film industry. Mind you, I am a media personality. I do a lot of television, reality show, news, documentaries, all of the things. And so I immediately was like, oh, this is someone that I should connect with. And so my initial response was to make it transactional. Oh, okay, cool. Let me give you my number just in case you got a project. Bring me on as an expert. And then I stopped and said, okay, hold on, pause here. Before I do that, let me really get to know this gentleman for who he is. And he was like, you know what, Keandra, you're amazing. I want to connect you with this person. And I know this person and that's linking it. And he was wanting to and willing to connect me with people. But before he did that, I literally stopped him and said, I appreciate you for connecting me or trying to connect me with all of the dope people that you want to get me to know. And I'm here for that. Let's be clear. But I want to get to know you for who you are, not for what you can do for me. And he was like, you know what, Keandra, that's so beautiful. So he literally gave me his personal cell phone number. He gave me his email address. He was like, text me right now. We exchanged information. And that didn't feel transactional. That felt like the beginning of a genuine, authentic relationship. And now we've been chit-chatting and going back and forth and texting and DMing and sending gifs and all of these things to one another because I know that I'm cultivating something with someone. And probably eventually we will work together, right? Because we're in the same industry, but that isn't why I wanted to get to know him. So the beautiful part about building a genuine connection with someone is active listening, showing genuine interest, having common ground. Like these are some of the, the beginning factors of how you get to know someone when you're first meeting them and you feel like, well, I don't know this person. I don't know what to say or do. Think about those things that I just mentioned. After you think about networking and how to engage, some of us are going to hit some challenges. Okay. So number two is how to overcome networking challenges. Many of us are either introverts, we're shy, we're not sure, we're insecure, we don't know what to say, we don't know what to do, and this prevents us from meeting new people. This prevents us from going to that next level. This prevents us from interacting with other people when we're at events, when we're at meetings, when we're in public, when we're wherever. But I want to break down all of that fear of rejection, not knowing where to start, and all of those things. I already gave y'all some tips about active listening, common ground, common interest, and all of those things. Those are the foundations 
information, but here are some additional things that I want you to consider. Your greatest superpower is being your authentic self. I'm gonna say that again for the people in the back. Your greatest superpower is being your authentic self. So when you try to dress like somebody else, talk like somebody else, engage like someone else, talk, do... When you try to be someone else, people can feel that you're not being authentic. So if you're shy, if you're energetic, if you are loud, if you are quiet, if you are somewhere in the middle, be who God created you to be and the right people will come along and you're going to find your people and your tribe that way. So there is an element of presenting, well, you don't want to just come up all like, yo, what up? <laughs> like You don't want to do that because people are going to be like, okay, we're at a professional event here and you are not being professional. You want to have some tact to you, but also at the same time, you want to just be you, however you are, however you speak, however you dress, however your hair is, show up and be your authentic self. And when you start to meet other people, just be you. I know some people are like, oh, I can't stand small talk. Oh, what's your name? Where do you work? The little pity patty to back and forth. I understand that, but that's a part of the game. Okay. That's a part of this whole networking and meeting new people is that you have to engage in small talk how are you gonna get to know somebody if you go try to go deep immediately right like you can't meet someone two seconds and then you're like so tell me about your childhood like they're gonna be like okay weirdo how about you get my names nice to meet you how are you what led you to come to this event today who do you know here what do you do what is your industry you have to do those smaller questions first and then that'll put you in a position to be able to really build that genuine relationship with them but then go deeper as time allows and so we have to understand that relationships take different types of cycles and patterns and time frames in order to grow there's some people who will stay at a pity patty small talk phase for a while there's some people who can go deep quickly there's some people who might take months for you to get to know years for you to know some people you click right away and you just felt like you've known them forever at the same event that i just told you guys about at empowercom i met another guy who is a the founder of a nonprofit here in los angeles called create now and they help like underserved youth with like arts and just all of these amazing things. We met, he had a vendor table next to mine. We met and it was like, I've known him for years. We were just laughing and kikiing and having a good time. And, you know, we talked about how we can support one another. He invited me to his end of the year event for his nonprofit. Like there was just synergy there, right? I didn't have to try. I didn't overdo it. I wasn't trying to be too buttoned up. I was just my authentic self. He was his authentic self. We wind up being goofballs and laughing about some of the same things. And now we're cool. We exchange information and now we have a growing relationship, right? So we have to understand that when you're out there, you're going to meet different people. Some people you'll talk to once and never see them or talk to them again. And then other people you do build this relationship with and it's long lasting and it's, and it's beneficial and mutual as well. And the third thing that I want to encourage you to do is to watch and take mental notes from somebody that you think already does networking well. So for the people who need to build up that confidence and gas themselves up and have that, you know, conversation with themselves prior to getting to the event or wherever you need to be, you need to observe and kind of hang around somebody who does networking well. So it would have been dope for me to have like someone shadow me or someone to kind of just like hang out with me and they can see how I interact and how I meet new people and what I say and what I do and what I don't do and all of those things and my body language, just observe and not try to do just yet and kind of take mental notes. And even if you got to take physical notes, that's fine too. But taking mental notes of, okay, cool. When Keandra met this person, she looked them in the eye. They were talking. She actively listened to them. She responded to them. She shook their hand. She stood up tall. She wasn't slouching. Like just taking mental notes of some of those things can boost your confidence because when you go out to try to do it you already have a blueprint when you go out to try to do it you can implement some of the things that you've seen another person do and this is so powerful because we learn vicariously sometimes sometimes we learn from seeing and watching other people do it and then that way we can say okay cool now no, I can have a little confidence to go out. I can have some strength to go out and do this as well. So make sure you're watching other people who do this well, see what they're doing, see what they're saying, maybe even interact 
and engage with those people. And then you'll have the skill set to be able to do it well for yourself moving forward. Before I give my final thoughts on this, because it's a wrap, I want to tell you that networking can be scary, but it can be a really life changing thing. Every time that I go somewhere, whether it's the grocery store, whether it's a meeting, whether it's an event, whether it's a Zoom, whether whatever it is, one, I try to show up as my best self, but also two, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's going to be in the room and you never know who's watching you. I remember being at an event one time, right? And I was just networking and talking to people and being my genuine self. And of course you can't meet everybody. So there's likely people who you're not going to meet. Literally like two weeks after that, I go to another event and there's someone else there who I didn't meet, right, previously. And then they mentioned, hey, I saw you at an event like two weeks ago. We didn't get a chance to talk, but I like your presentation. I liked your keynote and I want to bring you in to train my staff for a mental health like wellness type of thing that we're having at my company. And so I didn't even talk to him right two weeks before, but now I met him and saw him at another event. He remembered me and now I got a bag. Okay, now I have another opportunity because he saw me somewhere else. So again, you never know who's watching you. You never know what they're saying. You never know who you're going to run into. So this is why networking, bringing your best A game, making sure you are on top of things, making sure you are a nice, presentable person, that you are not someone who has like resting B face, looking mean all the time. So when someone tries to come up and talk to you, they're like, ooh, this person is mean, or I don't want to approach her because, you know, she's looking the type of way. Be welcoming, be inviting, because that's the energy that you want other people to have about you. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I hope to see you soon. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.